And we're hoping that you can come back around September. Down seven line cooks and four bartenders. The stools are up at Plan B Burgers in Simsbury. Welcome to Joey's Pizza Pie. How can I help you? While over at Joey's Pizza Pie in West Hartford. You're welcome. Have a good afternoon. We're short in all three restaurants. Now operating takeout only. We're not doing dining service. We're only doing takeout. Every day is a challenge, sort of making a schedule and, and filling it. Why? An industry-wide staffing shortage. We're about 20,000 jobs short in our state alone. Our, our restaurants are even struggling to try to make a profit right now, even with the demand. And they're, and they're carrying 16 months worth of debt debt that has shuttered 600 Connecticut restaurants so far. And though the rise of meal delivery apps like Uber Eats and DoorDash are driving a booming takeout business, it's also driving food costs 45 percent higher in a thin margin industry. And it's affecting our industry. The ancillary businesses, deliveries and trucks and food, all that plays such a, another role in this in this challenge. So staffing and training agencies like SnapChef are stepping up to fill the void. Based across the state line in Springfield, Mass. They are now breaking into the Hartford market to offer free online trainings to become an on-demand food service worker, filling positions from dishwashers to food prep and line cooks. You can take online from anywhere. We just uh, had a, a young lady, uh, we were talking to her yesterday from London. Where you take the course, it's 20 hours, and you're automatically going to go out at $15 an hour. And restaurants who we spoke with are hoping that things will get better after September 6th. That's the date when a federal unemployment bonus of $300 is set to expire. But September is also when restaurant student hires will have to head back to the classroom. Reporting in Simsbury, Matt Karen, Fox 61 News.